Hey guys, Kiki Love and Kiki Loves You. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I feel like this one is gonna be like a salute bag to, it's kinda chilly, like I have on a beanie and whatever. So this video is kinda gonna be like a throwback salute to like an old video style I used to do, which is called Organized Rants and stuff. And I also feel like I was ahead of my time with a video I made, uh, and it's gonna come up in this one. So we're just gonna talk about it. So I'm talking about therapists get that out the way so the way organized rants work is like i kind of organize like i want to spew and rant about certain things but i have more of an order to it to some degree so the first one i want to talk about is the side quest therapist right so the side quest therapist made a post and the thing on it uh, it's the tiktok therapists have been losing their mind okay and so the side quest therapist made this post and she was saying, and so she was like, when your client wants to trauma dump on the first session, um, and the caption was something along the lines of like, never letting that happen again or something like that. And it's just like, y'all get on my nerves. Like, we're doing all this work to try and encourage people to go to therapy, to get the help that they need so that they can become better and, and better off in society, better parents, better like spouses, better friends, all the things. And we send them to y'all and y'all doing what? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you come and make this person feel terrible for coming to you with information about themselves and being honest about where they are and the traumatic things that have happened to them so that now that you can help them to heal and to get through that, like it's not your job to judge them, it's your job to help them. Like help them figure out coping mechanisms to make it through as they continue to deal with this and learn how to better manage the problem. Help them learn how to better manage the emotions that come along when they encounter these triggering things and instead you take it as an opportunity to profit on TikTok. Ugh, it's, which makes me so mad because now we're already trying to get people to go. And so now this person who has finally been talked into going, goes, gives everything that they have only to be made fun of on the internet. And so now you got people who have gone to them that now are like, I don't even wanna go to there. Now you got people that have gone to her specifically, don't wanna go back to her probably. And then you got people that have never been to therapy and that were on the verge or have been like being encouraged by the community and the people around them. Now like, oh no, somebody gonna do that to me. Like, what? Like, I don't, I don't. The superiority complex is something that it ceases to baffle me. Now the next one, uh, the other person I wanted to talk about that is a TikTok uh, therapist. Last week was a lit week for them apparently. The situational therapist. Now the name itself, kind of told me as much as I need to know. What it was telling me personally was that depending on the situation, I might be a therapist. That's what I get from situational therapists. So the situational therapist, I didn't get to see the TikTok in its entirety. Um, I was watching, uh, not watching, but like, so Steph Club popped up on one of my things or whatever and she was talking about something, I forget. Anyway, she was talking about it. She really didn't give that much of it. I think she gave like a little bit slight overview of it. I went to other people, of course, and found out more information. Twitter, Instagram, uh, Julesy. Now Julesy, the, smart, the head smart brown girl, definitely give you a little more about it. Like she uh, made a TikTok herself about it, clipping him on the front end. And he was basically saying like how we need to start talking about the effects of spanking your children has on black children and growing up and then Julie went in of course to you know finish the conversation and actually like talk about him and in in the situation and everything so he started off talking about that and then he ended up talk saying it was like basically using it as a justification for black men not to date black women i also saw that somebody posted something on twitter which was like he's been like giving hints of who he was and told on himself a while back and they posted a clip they had found on tiktok for me personally speaking Okay. Him saying that reminded me of something in particular, which was a video I made a while back called Revenge of the Nerds. Now in there, I was talking about how people will hoard information and stuff like that because of them being ostracized as like kids and stuff like that. You know, A is this person, they did that and I'm not going to forgive them for it. They were sent as a kid and emotionally traumatized. They stayed there emotionally as an adult. Like they haven't grown past that when it comes to people. And it's sad, but it's true nonetheless. And I feel for them because I understand them and I understand how that can be, where, where it comes from and everything. But at the same time, you gotta choose you, you gotta choose to grow. So I said all that in that video, I'll make sure you, I'll link that up so that you can go and watch that if you care to watch it. But in that video, I was talking about those things and I also mentioned like how it's important to heal because those people are, the people that are gatekeeping information and stuff now are the people that I have not healed. It's very important to make sure that you heal. So I, as I said in that one and everything, like I've been ostracized, I've been picked on, all the things, all those things 
you know, wasn't the cool kid, wasn't the most popular or anything like that, even here on YouTube. Um, I'm not the most popular, I'm not the most popular because of actually having conversations about things that I actually help people. Um, and I'm not just doing stuff for a quick moment, a quick grab of attention or anything like that. I'm actually trying to have thought provoking conversations. Even in the video I was talking about with Brianna and whatnot, yes, I had the conversation. It was talking about her saying that about like, nappy and everything but the the conversation is the way you talk about people the way you talk about others the way you talk about yourself even like shouldn't have to come in direct opposition of somebody else and also you should be helping your parents as you move forward like the conversation is more than just the issue at the moment it's the issue at the moment and how you also can grow down the line now and particularly with him in this situation it's the being ostracized, the nerd, the social outcast, not getting women, all these things. Like, a lot of that stuff, all this field, the, the whole manosphere, just throw it out there, the red pill community, all that, those are the people that did not get women when they were in school, right? That's just how it was. And probably some of the pink pill community, I don't fully like watch everybody or anything like that. Probably some of the pink pill community have either manipulated men or like that's the only way they found success and just like had to learn how to make it however they could, the best they could. And that's what both of them basically are getting at. Like, I didn't get accepted then, or this is how I know how to get women or men this is how I know how to get what I want out of a situation this is how I know how to manipulate people and it, whatever if that's what you want to do y'all can deal with each other just don't bring that shit over here because I'm straightening your ass the f out people do that people go to those extremes and in particular in the situation with him I feel like he was one of those social outcasts that did not do the work people that are trying to go to therapy and to the people that are trying to encourage other people to go to therapy please make sure you tell them to ask their therapist if they have a therapist I think that is very important and if they don't currently have a therapist ask them when was the last time they went to their therapist right and I say that because I heard somebody say that and seeing this situation with him I understand why they say that because he has not healed in this department of his life he could be healed in other areas of his life uh, but he has not healed I also hate when people take this opportunity and stuff like this which, to the nerds take the information that they have gained and weaponize it against other people so he's learned the terminologies and stuff to be able to articulate himself in a certain manner but he's using it against people and to justify his malicious intent behind everything that he's doing because it all is malicious intent right and even to go to the conversation about him talking with women um, and black women and be in spankings and all these things and like using it as a justification for him to say what he said and all these things he was like I knew I did I committed a social taboo and it's like no you were disrespectful you were intentionally being divisive you knew what you were doing that's a lot of like I said the red pill and when I that's a lot of that community they're being divisive intentionally right like when you find people will find trends let me tell you something about me let me tell you something about my channel I will not pop like everybody else my time will come slower for my channel I will not pop like everybody else because I'm not going to do it at the expense of you all. I'm not going to do it at the expense of belittling you all and making you feel like shit in the process. A lot of people are doing that. They're playing on your insecurities. They're out here um, creating narratives and all these things in order to get content, in order to get people to draw them in. I'm not going to risk you all's mental health trying to make a dollar. I'm not about to do that on my channel. So if you're looking for that here, you're not going to get it here. I am going to actually have conversations that make you think and that actually make everybody think so that we can push the whole culture forward so that we all can have a space to actually talk and understand each other and yes we're going to disagree it's all like we all don't have to have the same you know stance and outlook on everything but to be respectful is the goal i will get disrespectful if y'all ass try me i'm not gonna hold you he sounds unhealed he sounds like he has trauma with his mother honestly one of the big reasons why men struggle are and are struggling to have the spaces to heal right now is because of how they treated women when we were trying to heal initially like the whole way they talk about daddy issues like you didn't want to date a woman that has daddy issues and stuff like that so now that you have issues with your mother you have mommy issues right now you want space to have this conversation and to talk about it and I agree there should be space for you to have and to talk about this is it's a very traumatic thing that can happen to you and I'm sure there are negative effects that you want to talk about and all those things but you got to accept the fact that y'all have set the tone that it, it's something to be picked at it's something to be mocked um like talking about women like oh you don't want a woman with daddy issues like them niggas had their daddies in a house whatever but all these things so you've done this and you set the tempo and now you're mad because you don't have the space to do that and i get it you should be able to have that space but you're gonna have to do the work that black women have done black women have done a lot a lot a lot of work to be able to get to the spot to get to the spots and the spaces in which we are in right now and it was not easy so you're gonna have to go through the difficult thing
Yes, I get it. I agree. It's 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 traumatic. Um, you shouldn't be ostracized for being different and things like that. But that happened to me too as a kid. My mother told me like you know people are gonna pick on you because you're different and that's okay. Don't worry about it. There's nothing wrong with you. You're still beautiful. You're still smart. People are just jealous. Like all the things. Like of course all of the things. Um, and so yeah, I got told you know. You, you talk too white, you walk funny. Like I have all, like all kinds of things, things I can't control. Like, and I can't help it. It is what it is. It's a part of who I am. And I love that about myself. I love that I'm not like everybody else that I come in contact with. I love that like I'm a very diverse person um, and I have interest in different things and other than what some people have. And I get being picked on and it did not sit well with me when I was in like high school and stuff like that. And hell, I even had to deal with it to some degree while I was in college and stuff like that. But that didn't change the way I felt about individuals. A lot of people clump people in together and the first hint they get of somebody that they've encountered in the past, they attach whatever that was that they gave to that person to them. So this person doesn't get a clean slate and the opportunity to be themselves. And also because they have not healed within themselves, they just give that to them without actually challenging what they see in that person and rob them of their opportunity to grow as an individual as well so I personally have encountered friends and have had situations but I challenge them and I call them on it because I've grown and I've healed as a person so me being able to heal as a person means hey I stand up for myself in a different way than I have in the past right like I stand up and I call you out on it because the people that would call me that would say things about me were not just like people at school it was also my family like you know so it would be my family and stuff like that that would say things not my mom per se or not my brother but like my family would say certain things about me or the way I acted and I operated and stuff like that and instead of just like stopping at them being jealous and stopping at them being haters or whatever I took the initiative to understand my family's history and why they would think and operate the way in which they do and then I challenged it right but I came at them with grace and truth and love right so like I'm, I'm a Christian if you don't already know like the way I approached them was from a, a place that was like hey I'm trying to understand where you are so we can have a conversation so that we can grow and we can get better and in a spot where you grow and I can grow to love you as well in this situation but when you're constantly looking to just be pitted against people you're trying to find a, a group and friends through division no you sound you sound toxic you sound like you don't know how to heal you sound like you don't know what growth is you sound like you you sound like you've been outcasted and you want to do that to other people like I said it sounds like you've been bullied and now you want to bully other people because you don't really want to help and I want to help people grow so emotions matter over here we can have these tough conversations over here um be careful about the therapist that you go to as a social outcast <laughs> I have all those things for you guys but yeah guys so that was it for this video i really just wanted to get that off my chest i started not to because today has been really rough i mean you see how i'm looking right now we've been doing a lot and i'm still not done but yeah i wanted to get this video done because i did want to get some content out and i really want to talk about this because i feel like this is a conversation that we need to have um please feel free to tell me about your experience um and how you f um it's a lot of um sorry guys please feel free to tell me about your experience and how you felt growing up were you ostracized were you bullied were you the bully right it's okay and that's okay too if you were the bully tell me if you grew through that process too like that's an interest i would love to talk to somebody who used to be a bully i think i got a friend that used to be a bully yeah, I think so. <laughs> I would love to talk to somebody that used to be a bully and like now it's like, hey, so how do you feel now, you shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what did you, like, what was going on in your life that made you want to bully other people? I'll probably get somebody to talk to. I'll probably find somebody to talk about that, yeah. All right, guys, but uh, until next time, guys, know that I'm Kiki Love and Kiki loves you. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.